In today's video, we are going to discuss the 10 day profitability of this $500 GPU mining rig. Today's video is sponsored by the team behind this t-shirt, Crypty.co. Crypty.co is one of the largest cryptocurrency apparel companies out there. They carry everything from t-shirts to hoodies, to baseball caps, to beanies, to mugs, and even flags. Go over to Crypty.co and use the promo code THEHOBBYISTMINER to get 10% off. Huge shout out to Crypty.co for sponsoring this video. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, in our last video, we went and built our $500 GPU mining rig and it turned out phenomenal. I'm so happy with it. Our MSI 1660 Ti has been kicking butt and I thought, all right, we're 10 days in, let's go ahead and give the community a 10 day snapshot of the profitability that we have made with our $500 mining rig. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Okay, so jumping into HiveOS, let's go ahead and take a look at our rig. So if you guys remember, we labeled this triage and let's take a look at it. So as you guys can see, actually, it was booted over nine days ago and has an uptime of nine days and one hour. So we're actually coming in shy of our, our 10 days pretty significantly. So it's almost like we should relabel this video nine days and one hour profitability on our on our $500 1660 Ti. But regardless, let's go ahead and dive into things. So I've had a lot of really good luck with this rig. This is my most reliable rig right now with some phenomenal uptime of almost 10 days, which is great. So as you guys can see, uh, in our previous video, we discussed we're running the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. It's running the Micron GDDR6 memory, and we're right around 31.65. Now it'll fluctuate 65, 64, 66, but it stays nicely within that 0 0.03 uh, fluctuation range, which is great. Now in the software, it's reporting that we're using 68 watts. In our past video, as we discussed, our entire metrics will be based off of what the entire rig uses, not just the graphics card. Hence why I really promote my audience and my community to get a voltage meter and base all of your profitability metrics off of the voltage meter and the true watts of the entire rig being used. So now let's go ahead and jump over to what to mine and talk about our expectations. So over on what to mine, if you guys have, have never used this site before, I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner kind of gives you a little bit more of a tutorial as to how to really use this site. It is a little bit of a little overwhelming, especially for beginners, but don't be afraid. Check out the video in the upper right hand corner as well as down below that explains really how to use what to mine. So let's talk profitability. So if we go ahead and look at HiveOS, we talked about 31.65, which was our hash rate. So we're gonna come up here and you have lots of options at the top to select the graphics card of choice. There's our 1660 Ti, so I can select that. But it has in some very default, very basic hash rate numbers, so we're gonna update those. So as we said, we are at 31.66 now, look at that, gone up a little bit. And our watts here, which is what we determined in our last video for the entire rig is 99. 0.8. Now that is exactly everything we're using and our hash rate. Now what you need to do is you need to come down to cost. And in a cost, you need to go ahead and update it to what your cost is per kilowatt. So for me, it's actually 0 0.058 uh, is where mine is at. Uh, if you guys are like, what in the world? How do you have that electric rate? There's a lot of things that I have done in order to get to that point. I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner and a link down below to that entire video where I explain how I went ahead and impacted and changed my electric rate. So let's go ahead and hit calculate. So based off of this information here, as of right now, which we are on the 9th at 5.44 p.m., it is telling me that my revenue is $1.08 per day. So let's jump into that. So our revenue is actually, that was our profit, our revenue is actually $1.22 per day. Our electric cost just to run this entire rig is 14 cents. And then our profit is a dollar and eight cents per day. Now these are all estimates based off of the current moment in time. This will fluctuate day to day based off of how the market's doing, how Ethereum's doing. So these are all things to definitely keep in mind. So that being said, let's now go ahead and jump over to 
ether mine, which is where we mine to. So if you guys aren't familiar, when you go back over to your rig, you go to flight sheet and you can see right here, ethermine.org. That's that's where we're mining to. That's the that's the pools website. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to that there. And before I do, I'm just gonna copy down my wallet address and I'm gonna to go to ethermine. Here's the website that, here's the pool that we're mining to. And we're on Ethereum, you can see in the top left. So we're gonna paste in our address there and we're gonna look it up. And there's a lot of information up in front of us here. So let's go ahead and go through it. So right now it's telling me my current hash rate is 35.8 mega hash. My average though is 31.9 and your reported is 31.7. Um, so you're necessarily actually paid off of, is my understanding, off of the reported. So that's really where you need to focus on. Now, the nice thing is if you look at our valid shares, 30. Our stale shares, zero, which is fan fantastic if you scroll down you can see some of the metrics there and then down below here here it is here's our one rig now if you had multiple rigs you'd see them all listed here so this will give you some good information but if we move up let's talk about money that's what everyone wants to know about so you can see it is estimating that we're at a dollar 17 per day uh, now that's not taking into account um, our electric rate and stuff like that so as you can imagine, it, it's getting a little bit closer. We're, we're pretty close. But remember, what to mine is an estimate. This is true information. So based off the current market, right now at nine at 546 on the 9th, we are making on estimate $1.17 per day. Now we have an unpaid balance here of $11 and or $11.93. So if we go ahead and break out our calculator here and do 11.93 divided by nine, because we're actually not even a full 10 days in yet. It's putting us at $1.32 per day as our average. So if we take that and times that by a true 10, there we go. So in 10 days off of this one GPU and our, and our rig there, we are set up to make $13.25. So to give you an idea, we'll times that, um, that is uh, per week there. So we're gonna go ahead, or that's 10 days, I'm sorry. So if we go ahead and break that down and let's take a closer look here. So $1.32 times, and we'll do based off of, let's do 365, sure, why not? $481.80, it'll make us per year off of that one graphics card in the current market, which as of today, March 9th is really low. The Ethereum market is not exactly popping this second. So we have great scalability to do very, very well. Now you can come up here and actually change this here to uh, there's Bitcoin, Euro, you can go all the way through all of these until you get to Ethereum. So there is a metric, a little easier for some of you guys to see how much Ethereum we're actually making per day. Now we're not paid out per day. If you're a beginner, quick little lesson for you. The minimum that Ethermine will pay out on is 0 0.01. So we got some time here to go. So if you go over to the payouts tab, you can see it is estimating based off of our current hash rate that we will be paid out every 14 days. So I'm not going to see anything in my wallet. You know that wallet that we set over here in Hive OS? We're not going to see anything in that wallet until 14 days from now. So that means that it'll take 24 days total, roughly, for me to see any payout in my wallet. And it actually tells you your remaining amount of Ethereum needed to hit my threshold. So I still need 0 0.00561 in order to do that. And then, as I said, started mining. Look at that, 10 days ago. Bam, which is awesome. So where do we go from here? Well, we're gonna go ahead and install three additional graphics cards in our budget mining rig. I picked up three of them each of them with a game plan and budget of $300 or less, focusing on older graphics cards. And we're gonna be installing this in this budget mining rig, overclocking them, and then also discussing our plans, predictions, and game plan for this budget GPU mining rig. Join me next time, we'll talk about it then. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.